Oh yeah, oh yeah, got it. Wow, that's a spiffy trick. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Midnight Sprite and this is Learn to Shell. This is the last line of things that we gotta do. Before I get discouraged though, we're gonna go ahead into some glitches just to have some real fun before we get into the madness. Let's go. Okay, so what do we got first? Sprites overloaded. Let's see what this is. Oh, whoa. If every sprite slot is filled and you kill an enemy with an empty shell on screen, it will spawn a coupling inside of the shell. Then what's gonna happen? This block is here to fill sprite spot. That's great. So it's there just to fulfill requirements. Okay. So was that what that didn't do Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I was not sure what exactly that meant. No, Koopaling, you son of a Get in here. Yeah. Ah, come on, come on, get me over to the goal. That's weird. That's weird. Up throw magic. Throw the shell right as the coupling is about to kick it. The shell will ignore the ceiling for a little while. Okay. Wow! Wow! That's that's crazy. That's cool. I love it. All right, respawn and feed. I like these. These are freaking weird and cool. You can get infinite coupalings if you respawn the shell. Try this to feed Yoshi. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. I guess that just, it's more not, I don't think that's really a glitch as much as it is a uh, mechanic of the game. But I'm curious to know why the respawn counter piece works with that, but it doesn't necessarily restart the counter for Yoshi's eating. Hmm. If you up throw the shell as you jump on the springboard and then head bonk it as you both hit the ceiling, you can clip into the ceiling. What? That's there for sprites or something, huh? So I think I misunderstood this. I, I understood this to be, well, both, if you hit it, you can clip, oh, you clip that into the ceiling, not me. Okay, I was really confused. I, for some, I read that as I would clip into the ceiling as well. Is there anything in the pipe? No. Okay. But didn't we just do that previously with another? Oh, that was with a coupling though. So I think it takes some kind of sequencing with both of those types of momentum. Lick and kick. Oh, okay, what's up here? This is easier if you're facing away from the bullet. So Mount Yoshi and time licking the shell so you get hit as it on his tongue. If done properly, Yoshi will drop the shell. When you kick the shell, it won't have any horizontal detection and it will clip into the floor. I don't know what's supposed to go on. What the f That was it, but I didn't do it right. Okay, I think that was it. 
That was it. That was that was it. That is so weird. Okay, I almost killed myself on that bullet pill. I like these glitches. These are really cool. SMW is not jank. Show me otherwise. If you up throw a shell on the same frame, it's about to die to cave lava. You can spawn a coupling in it. Use this to create a disco shell to cross the gap. Without dying? Without dying. What? Talk about frame perfect little tricks, man. That's just weirdest little thing. Oh, don't mess me up. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. That is absolutely frame perfect. Also, how do you get the little spring to jiggle back and forth? That's pretty cool. Huh. Cool. So that's all it for the, the glitches. All right, let's see what we can do. Forward drop. You need to drop the shell forward near its peak jump. You should hit the corner of the pipe and slow down enough for you to do a booty bump. Is that right? That can't be right. That can't be right. Because it said to drop the shell, not to kick it. How do you just drop the shell? Regrab the shell grab. Jump. Wait, re-shell- Re-re-jump the- What? All you have to do here is do a re-grab and do a shell jump. Harder than it seems. The timing for this is a bit harder as you have a smaller window to throw the shell. Did you even explain a re-grab? What is a re- What the f- Hold on. There we go, got it. That was not what I was trying to do the first time. I was trying to figure that out, but that... That is a hella timing thing. Backdrop. For this trick, you must flick backwards and drop the shell near the peak of your jump. Bump the shell, look forward, and press run. I don't... I don't think I'm... Well, that didn't work. God, I got it! I got it! Whoa! Okay, that, that, wow. Wow. That is such a tough trick to figure out and then not only figure it out, but maneuver the controls for what you need. Oh, that's gonna take me so long to perfect. Oh, man. Run off, up throw, and bonk. Okay. What do we got here? While running off the ledge, hold upright and kick the shell. Do a small turn back to head bonk the shell and land on it. Remember, hold Y before you run off the ledge. Wouldn't you be doing that anyway? No. You would be. You would be, though. All right, let's, let's try. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Got it! Wow! That's a spiffy trick. Pretty satisfying when you get it off, too. Okay, what I've been dreading this entire time. Midair shell jump. Okay, what are you gonna tell me how to do this better? So this midair is frame rate perfect. Run, jump, flick, back. Near the peak height, release the shell and press forward at the same time. I feel like I'm going insane trying to do this. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I can't. I've been sitting here for like two hours trying to do this yet again. Let's at least see what the advanced test looks like. Thanks. Yep. 
I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. These are all like expert tricks that I can't do. Um, but there's one one thing that I haven't done, which I still have yet to clear, and that's the Stone Cold Stunner. I'd rather finish this up and leave you guys here. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Got it. Nice. Took me a minute to realize that just jumping on the stunned guy itself didn't do anything and you needed the Koopa to come out of that. So, cool. That's literally everything except for the uh, intermediate tests and the midair and everything else. I think I'm ready for some intermediate hacks now. Thank you so much for watching everybody, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you to my patrons over at Patreon for helping support my content, and y'all have a beautiful weekend. Peace! Regrab the shell grab jump. Wait, re-shell re re-jump the what?